Australian scientists have stumbled across a brilliant find in Antarctica. They've uncovered a rare volcanic rock called kimberlite. The rock formation delivers most of the world's diamonds. However, mining is not an option in the protected area, so any precious gems will stay under the ice for now. Stephanie Smale reports. Kimberlites had been discovered on every continent except Antarctica until now. The rare volcanic rock carries diamonds to the Earth's surface. It might be home to precious gems, but Greg Yaxley from the Australian National University says it's not always pretty. From the point of view of a geologist, they're they're fairly ugly rocks because they're usually very altered. So the primary original mineralogy is often broken down to minerals like serpentine and calcite and so forth. It was a lucky find during a hunt for other types of rock in the icy northern Prince Charles Mountains in East Antarctica. Professor Dima Kamenyensky from the University of Tasmania was part of the team that identified the rock. When we cut them thin and made the really thin sections, and put under the microscope, we found that they are kimberlites. Where there's kimberlites, there's often diamonds. Most of the world's major diamond mines are based on deposits of the rock. But mining is banned in Antarctica, so Professor Kamenyensky says it's unlikely the discovery will be a money spinner. We'll never uh, use this kimberlites as the source of diamonds, uh, as a shiny gem product on our women. (laughs) No, never. Scientists say the kimberlites found in Antarctica are about 120 million years old. Greg Yaxley says it could have been forced up from deep beneath the Earth's surface during a continental shift. We believe that during the separation of India from the Australian Antarctic continent, there was a bit of movement along faults and so forth, and that can cause a little bit of melting deep in the Earth, um, which may have resulted in these kimberlites. Greg Yaxley sees the discovery as a small but important insight into how the Earth has evolved over billions of years. If you reconstruct those continents back into the original Gondwana configuration, so before they drifted apart, you have a vast province, a huge area, thousands of kilometres across, which contains these small but quite um, widely distributed 120 million year old kimberlites. And now we've extended that province even further. ANU's Greg Yaxley.